always nice to see a bit of instant effect on a car so as i've been doing the wiring on it i thought i'd fit all the rear end together so the lights are new uh, i'm not really sure if the red is meant to be above the amber or vice versa um, this light i've never seen anything like this before i had to repaint it inside but it's quite different um yeah, so the back end, I've got the bumper on it as well. I did that the other day. But, so that's that's the back end all done there. Um, doing more wiring at the front end. Got the wiper motor. It's all fitted in and connected up and wired in. Uh, I've bonded this plate to the top there now. All the brake pipes are all in and connected and the silver one there. That's the fuel pipe from the fuel pump. Uh, solenoid's probably gonna sit there. And I think the coil's not gonna go there. I think it's gonna go down there because it'll suit the wiring better. Up the top here will be a battery. Uh, and I'm looking into the situation about having a heater on the car, because I think it might be advisable. Um, yeah, underneath there, the electric fuel pump fuel tank is all in it now all bolted up everything's all connected up all the fuel lines all all done all fitted up and um could bleed the brakes tomorrow possibly but not really that fast they're, they're going to be okay so yeah it's been a another productive day and yeah, it's nice to get all the back end lighting all together on there. Uh, it looks quite sweet, I think, the back end of the car there in the light blue with the silver bumpers. Very nice. These are our fancy new wheels and tyres. Uh, I always put a 165713 on these cars. It's a good size for them. It's not too wide but wide enough and it's a nice profile for them so that's them brake and clutch all ready to go all done all bled up and that so brake feels nice feels really good clutch they're quite clutch is quite firm but you don't need to go all the way to the floor you only need to move it a little bit to release it so clutch and uh, brake all finished and done <clears throat> I'm gonna pop the wheels on it, sit it on the floor, see what it see what sort of ride height it's sitting at at the moment. Bearing in mind we haven't got all the weight on board yet, but um, yeah, let's put that on. I was gonna put the car on the floor, but then I thought the only thing I need to do on the car with it up in the air is put the exhaust on. So I thought, oh, there's no point putting it down then lifting it up again. So to give you an idea of what the tyre to wheel arch clearance is likely to be, that's what it's going to be. Um, that's the sort of clearance you'll get, probably a tiny bit less than that actually. Um, something that I bought to replace the filler neck. So this was the original thing, which was like been, oh, wow. yeah. Well, that's what it was and I've got this lovely aluminium kit and this will be the filler instead which is a really nice bigger I'll do a tight and that's a very fractionally elongate the hole but that's going to look much nicer on the back of the car also the heater so this is the heater we got uh, which has an adapter on the front to do the air vents up to the dash but that's going to fit in there somehow like that underneath the dashboard up in the air and I think that would be really neat be very cosy mind you can't imagine it spending too much time out in the snow in the winter but uh, just a couple of items there, 
and then we'll get the exhaust on it and the car can sit on the floor then this was the radiator I don't know if we've seen that as yet or not but uh, I've got to do something with the bottom hose on that yet so that's our new alloy radiator that's going to be on it coming together all coming together all that HRDC Academy chassis plate yet to be stamped up as well so that'll be fitted under the bonnet as well I made that little seal there another little job another little job well the A35's on its feet at last um, <coughs> all sitting there nicely it's pretty firm it's um, difficult to show that in the uh, film but there ain't a lot of movement in it this is gonna handle like a go-kart but I can always back the shocks off because I don't really know what sort of setting uh, the car will want until I drive it the back is definitely gonna come down a little bit the back's about half to three quarter inch too high at the moment but it will it will come down but no it's uh it's coming together good Gonna be great fun to drive, that's for sure. Oh, I fitted the exhaust as well. So I pretty much finished everything underneath. So that's a Manaflow single box system. You, you can't, uh, not much to see really, but it's on there. It's on there. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> 